Live, we're back in the zone, and I am here at the RTC 360 booth with Jurgen Mayer. Thank you so much for being here. Um, my pleasure to be here. I already asked Jurgen if he was John Mayer's brother. Well, I'm his cousin, actually. His cousin. So that's he's going to sing for us after this piece. So <laughs> we are actually here talking about the RTC 360, which was unveiled yesterday. Can you walk us through this technology and why it's cutting edge? Well, it's cutting edge because it's the latest like a product that comes to market, so it, it's always cutting edge then. But um, no, this, this one is, is a very specific piece of equipment and it's really part of a, of a bigger solution that we built uh, around the hardware that you see here. Uh, we embedded this in a, in a proper ecosystem of software that supports uh, not only the data acquisition part, but the whole workflow from you know, capturing the data to the final deliverable in the office. Okay, what would you, would you describe for us the main features? Well, the main features, the way we describe this is by three words, which is fast, agile, precise. Okay. And uh, by fast, we mean really fast. <laughs> so. <laughs> How fast is really fast? Really fast is measuring like two million points per second. And uh, that's, that's at least twice as fast as any other system in the market currently. Uh, it also takes images all around the sphere in, in uh, less than a minute. That's also pretty fast. And um, when we talk about agile, the term agile, we use that to describe the workflow that we've built around it. And there is a, a key feature to it, my favorite feature, yes. which is uh, what we call the VIS, the Visual Inertial System. And uh, basically what it is, it's uh, we've given eyes to the instrument. Jürgen Dold in his keynote called it a seeing machine. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much what it is. Uh, you see these black spots around here, these are cameras. And as you move the, the, the device from station to station, it can actually see the world around it and make sense of it and actually knows where its position is. And, and that hasn't happened before. And that hasn't happened before and it's a big thing for people in scanning because uh, one of the main hurdles for the adoption of scanning is a, a problem that we call registration, mm. which is um, finding out how two scans fit together. Typically right. with, with traditional systems, you would do a scan here, create a point cloud, you create a point cloud over there, but then you have to stitch them together somehow, which is a very time consuming manual process. With this VIS sensor that we have built in here, that is a thing of the past because uh, the, the scanner knows where it is and the point clouds fall into place. It's like puzzle pieces that fall into the right place and stick together. Very smart technology. It is very smart technology, yes. What do you think about this device changing the industry? Uh, we believe that by making the whole process so simple, we are, we are lowering the entry hurdle for a lot of people who are, have a, a need for precise 3D data. So pretty much everyone who wants to work with 3D models in, in let's say, uh, in a plant environment, in, in building construction, in public safety, uh, can now use this device very, very quickly with a, with a very short learning curve. Right, and you were saying it's user-friendly, which is more approachable. It is, yes, exactly. I, I think that people in, in, in the past may have not adopted scanning because they thought it was complicated. Mm. Uh, and it is to, to it is a, a specialist uh, uh, know-how and, and, and skills that you need, but not anymore with this one because the, the whole workflow becomes so simple. You literally there's a big red button here. You press that button, and everything else just you know happens and falls into place. I like that. You know, I can see it. I'm going to press it, and it'll do its then, job. Then you should press it, maybe. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, you should. You should. Uh, yes. Oh, can yeah, I? yeah, yeah, yeah. Do Ooh. that. Oh, it's starting. It's starting. It's still, it needs to speed up. That mirror will start to spin and will spin with like 100 rotations per second. Wow. And within, and this is the timing, it says 1.26 uh, uh, minutes. And that is about 26 seconds for the whole scan, for the whole point cloud and a minute for the images. You're being scanned now. I'm being scanned. You're will being it scanned. make me more um, attractive? It will make you more 3D. <laughs> <laughs> well, while we're watching... The pictures will be taken as well. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, let's all prepare ourselves. <laughs> uh, this isn't going to the Internet or to the cloud, is it? And it's it? not like this is a live interview no, or anything. No, this is live no. on the Internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so tell me this. What, did, what would you like to add about the Leica 3, RTC 360? Well, uh, obviously, we are, we are all uh, very excited about this, this device, uh, but uh, we must not forget that... Uh, Creating this kind of 3D data is a means to an end. So what people mm. are not interested in is point clouds. Primarily, they're interested in the things that come out of point clouds. And uh, uh, we haven't talked about all uh, the, the, the software chain that comes after this, uh, all the, the, the great pieces of software that we also offer to create these deliverables that customers 
eventually make money with and, and, and can sell to the customers. But that will be a whole separate interview. That, that's correct. So we'll get you next time. How about that? <laughs> yes, on, let's, on that let's that meet again in next year. <laughs> okay. Jürgen Mayer, thank you so much for uh, sharing with us uh, this new technology and making it also so much more accessible for our Facebook Live audience. My pleasure. Thank you. And you guys remember, this is our last stream coming from The Zone. We do have one more this afternoon, so you guys continue to stay tuned for HXGN TV. Thanks for watching.